data structure can limit the way that data is visualized. Take a look at this graph. You'll notice that this is the survey data that's been transformed where we have dimensions of answer and question. Well, how do we transform our data, which is organized in a much different way, to having two columns, one for answer and one for question? By having these two columns, we can easily plot question and answer in a row and the number of record on columns. So we can create something that mimics a dashboard that we created in the previous exercise, but simply in one chart. Let's return back to the vertical bar chart that we created in one of the first exercises. As you can see, we are only able to plot the responses to one question on each worksheet in Tableau. If we wanted to show the responses to all questions, we'd have to create a dashboard and then drag each individual worksheet on that dashboard to reveal all the answers to all the questions. Well, there has to be a simpler way, and there is. We're going to use the pivot function in Tableau to transform our data from what we call wide format to long format. So let me show you how it works. First, we click on the data source window, and then we have to carefully highlight by clicking and pressing the shift key each of the variables, which are the questions. So these are 10 questions that we are selecting. Once we've done that, we click on one of the questions and we choose pivot. So I'm pressing the control key and I'm pressing pivot. And now I'm able to see that I've a new column called pivot field names and then one called pivot field values. I'm going to quickly change, rename this column to question and pivot field values, we'll name that to answer. Now, if we go back to our vertical bar, you see that vertical bar won't work because right now it's referencing a field that doesn't exist because we actually modified the way in which Tableau is reading our data. So now it's time to create a new set of charts. Let's create a simple horizontal bar chart that will show each question with its answers. So we choose the question, we drag that to columns, we choose the answer, and we drag that also to columns. We take the number of records and we move that to rows and then we can rotate the axis and here we have a simple horizontal bar chart that shows the response to each question. So at this point you may want to format your chart to make sure that it's readable. So what we'll do is we'll just paste formatting from another worksheet and then you're going to want to reorder your answers from very poor to very good. 